lads. Morning, gang, gang. What a nice day. I look like I've actually ever seen like blue skies in a very, very, very long time. Now, getting in there. Mer Mercedes. It's a Mercedes. When the uh, gearbox is like really cold, like now, so to say, it's like until it warms up a bit, it's like so clunky. Like, see, we'll put it in reverse now. See how it like jumps a little bit? Like, that's not that bad. Sometimes it like proper kicks you back. They said they were going to change under warranty, but not heard anything from them, so I actually need to ring them today. But to love the day, boys. I actually hope it starts warming up soon. Can't wait for the shows to get back into it. Uh, and it's also better for you guys when shows start happening. I can give away more free tickets and more free shit and all this and that, but there's just nothing going on at the minute. And literally, as soon as I've said that, an engine manager light has just come on the car. Like, what the hell? So yeah, scrap that, I'm taking it back to the garage right now so you guys come with me. Uh, so yeah guys, I went in, listed all the problems and they're going to buy it back off me. Uh, so I do not have a Merc anymore and I do not have a daily. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to borrow my mum's car or something. But I'm going home now just to empty all the stuff out of the car and to get the rest of the documents. Now it turns out that they actually never sent me the logbook in the first place, which is always cool because now I'm going to have to do a very awkward way of um sorting the tax out but it was uh it was pretty nice i genuinely thought i would have to be getting on the phone to will's lawyer and i genuinely thought i'd have to be going in and like trying to you know force them to take the car back in the way but they were very they were very kind about it they basically just said yeah that's fine you know we'll, we'll just buy it off you and just refund you whatever you paid so a very simple process a bit annoyed i do actually like the car like i am annoyed but end of the day it's although it's a cheap it's a cheap e-class like it is a cheap e-class uh this is why you buy from dealers this is why i buy like cars that i like with low mileage from private sellers and ones which are risky from dealers this is a risky car high management risky cars so i bought it from a dealer and I'm, thank god i bought it from a dealer now the dealer could have easily just been assholes i know a lot of dealers are quite arsy with things like this they always trying to argue the point that they were you know when the car was sold but to always remember guys they within three months they can give you your money back if you want it so never ever get mugged off by a dealer and in fact they actually have to have six months to fix the issue if there's an issue arises within six months they have to fix that issue right so don't don't fall accustomed to garages saying oh you bought it like that it's it's, tr it's wrong it, Dealers, there's lots of laws around not being mugged off by dealers, so don't be mugged off by a dealer, okay? Not saying that these de these are tried to mug me off, I'm actually really nice about it, and they basically said, we'll buy the car off you, that's fine. So guys, we're back. Uh, they, uh, they took the car. Uh, they was quite nice about it. Um, they're gonna pay me back my deposit, which is a thousand pounds, and then they're gonna give me. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna settle finance figure. Uh, so lo and behold, I've lost a hundred pounds because I paid one amount of finance, and they said you know since they've used the car and that, which is fair enough. I've had a Merc for six weeks for hundred quid, so can't really complain. Uh, so yeah, so they're gonna set the finance figure, so I'm gonna get the deposit back tomorrow. I actually went looking at another car. I looked, I was like, what else can I get? Is it either gonna be a C-Class, because you can't find E-Classes that cheap. Is it gonna be a C-Class or some sort of an Audi? So, and there was literally like five miles down the road. So I went to have a look at it, and it was nice. It was very nice, but it has been remapped and EGR deleted. It's really a V6, so it's gonna be fucking fast. I've talked a few figures with them. Go down tomorrow, test drive, and if all's good in the test drive, then I'm probably gonna get it. Maybe a new, new video, new car. We go, oh, 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 fucking told you so, man. But whatever. Fuck the comments, my guys. Jess is here. Hi, hi, no baby. Right, so it's the day after, and we're just about to pull to the place now. We're actually going. We, we agreed to buy that car, so I'm not sure exactly where I picked up the camera. It's a little bit late. It's like four o'clock. So I'm not sure what they've been doing with it all day. So hopefully it's like mega clean and it's all. Well, they said they're going to put a 12 on MLT in it and stuff. Uh, so I'm get hoping that's what they've been doing today. But no, we're going to go and get it. Hopefully we don't run into any complications. Um, it's been quite stressful trying to get this one too far. Well, it's just me. I'm just a very stressful guy. Like I make things which aren't that stressful and I turn them into very stressful situations. But yeah, anyway, let's go and get a car. But it's England, so obviously we're starting fucking traffic. Now the patrons do know exactly what we've been looking at, and uh, the, the patrons know what car it is and everything. So uh, yeah, for the patrons, it's not going to be a surprise. But I don't think I've shown anyone else yet, or even said. But 
patrons on that. So we just pull up now. I'm not going to show you guys just yet. I don't know where it is. Right, guys, we're in the new car. We're in the new car. I'm probably not going to um, do the reveal today. I'm probably going to do it tomorrow. It's starting to get a little bit dark now. I've got no one to film for me, so I'll probably nip round to Kieran tomorrow and get him to film for me. But a lot cooler than the Merc. Trust me, it's a hell of a lot cooler than the Merc. Uh, and and the good thing about this is. The Merc was never owned by me, it was always owned by a finance company because I didn't I never planned to do any mods on it. This is actually owned by me and we're going to do mods to this car. So it's actually a fast car, like it's not a slow car, it's not a slow boring pretty boy car. It's a fast car. So yeah, I'm gonna knit to Halfords because I just wanna ask uh, Dan, the guy I used to work with, uh, I, want, I wanted to ask him about uh, the Bluetooth and stuff because it's not actually got Bluetooth at the minute and it's only got like an SD card thing. So I kind of want uh, USB, I've been Googling it. Uh, and apparently there was something in the glove box, but I couldn't really find it. But I'm going to go down to see, to see Dan, see if he can help me out with some part of audio. Because we need the tunes, boys. Okay, quick update. The stereo system is wank. <laughs> it's absolutely wank. Good morning. It is actually three days after I bought the car. Uh, I couldn't film it Saturday. When, well, when I picked it up, it was just too dark to do the reveal, so I didn't do it. Saturday I was busy. Uh, Sunday I was busy. So today is Monday and we're doing it now. I've had the car a few days. Uh, so it's actually really dirty, so just forget about that, but it's actually better like that because we're going to be doing something quite uh, drastic with the, in terms of paint, so don't worry about that. But I've been driving it. When I first picked it up, I liked it, uh, but I didn't really love it. I was like, oh yeah, you know, it's a cool car, you know, it's sick, it's sick. Now after driving for like three days, I absolutely love this car, like, I really do like it. Like, admit, I'll admit it's uh, not as specced up as the Merc. But it's a hell of a lot faster than the Merc and it drives. So anyway, let's just pan into the car. I'm sure a lot of you have already guessed from the seating positions and things like that. Uh, so let's show you the car. Well, well, well. Then we're going to talk about what I like, what I don't like, what's changing, and how this is going to be totally different than the Right? So let's pan to the new not name, but yeah. Oh, let's pan. So yes, it is an Audi. My thoughts on that were, like, after I got rid of the Merc, I really didn't know what to get. Like, I really like the Merc, and I don't really like many German cars. And I was looking, I was like, oh my god, like, I can't get another Merc, I just don't trust them anymore. Uh, ugh, I'm gonna go into why I got rid of the Merc a minute ago and stuff, but the only really thing that I was looking before I got the Merc was with a Merc or an Audi A5. But the two litre ones were not as cool. Like the two litre diesels were not as cool. I needed a diesel for uh, transportation reasons. So I thought I can't get a two litre one. It's just not as cool as, as the two litre Merc. So this is a three litre V6. Uh, and I've been told it's already got a map on. And it feels like it's already got a map on. And I was speaking to Will. Uh, and Will was saying that these stage one are like 300 horsepower, like 550 foot pounds. So this is a fun car to drive it's manual i'm not pissing around with the automatic gearbox anymore it's manual it's got nowhere near as many miles this is actually classed as like a low mileage one for like this age and the diesel like this has got 90,000 miles which is uh of an auto trade that was like 40,000 miles under average what they do their average things but let's talk about the audi and why i got one so yeah i wanted something big i didn't want anything small i didn't want any something that everyone's got the a5 is a re like really sort of classy looking aggressive cars and i've only really wanted one in black or white and there weren't really ones for white how i got this really was it was actually just the car closest to where i took the merc back because i ended up returning the merc because i had it started having a load of issues um uh, all the patrons will know the issues it started having because i put a picture on i'm not sure entirely sure what i'm going to put on this video but it started having uh, like coolant issues it started having like gearbox issues uh, i found out that the, the door's been changed so i'm guessing it was in a crack and it was just too much stuff so i returned it the garage were really helpful and they uh, took it back quite acceptingly uh, and then and then i went down the road just to test drive this one liked it so much and 
bought it. Now the good thing about this one is, I know I bought the merch just so it was like a day and I didn't want to do any videos to it or anything, but I actually got a lot of plans to do a lot of mods on this. Uh, so there's actually going to be a lot of videos. First thing, the sound system is absolutely gammon. Like it's absolutely dreadfully, gammonly disgraceful. How a German car can be released with a sound system like this is absolutely disgusting. Like the speak, I actually found that the speakers are actually blown, but even still, they're bad. Uh, they've got, it's got no uh, USB, no Bluetooth music, no aux, it's absolutely gammon, so we're going to have to change lots. I've already been in talks of some stuff around sound systems and things. That's going to be happening. Hi! Hi! Yeah, so it's the it's the Quattro one as well. So we've got all-wheel drive back again, which is kind of cool and kind of not cool. And it's got uh, electric handbrake, which is me a bit gammon, but... You know, we can't really mad handbrake terms. That's fine. Good thing about this is, like, I genuinely thought, like, since it's been mapped and it's a three litre, it gets terrible fuel economy. Don't get me wrong, it does get ter terrible fuel economy around town. But, like, on the motorway, it still gets, like, 50 to the gallon, so it's absolutely perfect. So here we are in the A5. It's nowhere near as respectable as the Merc. Like, it's absolutely nowhere near as respectable as the Merc. It is, like, three years old. Or not even that, two years old. It's two years older than the Merc, and it feels like at least, like, five years older than the Merc. It's got no heat seats. Um, the radio is absolutely awful. Like the the uh, like the HUD bit here. Like it just that looks way older. That looks gammon. We get not got no Bluetooth. We've got got not got no USB. No aux, although we are fixing that. I know a lot of the things they come with like MMI in here and AMI and they've got all different fucking different things. I've looked, mine hasn't got any of them, so I've got the Pulse Spec radio, which is also sick. Um, both of these door car speakers, I just thought the, I just thought it was just that bad quality. They're actually blown. Took it to an audio shop and they said they're like that the speakers are actually like full and ripped. It sounds like well some like um do you know when you're in high school and you have and you and you get them two little wooden uh how old are you? <laughs> old. It actually, when you've got like a bass, it sounds like someone's doing them uh, them things. Well, that's absolutely gammon. Uh, it's manual, which is sick. Like, back in a manual. I mean, it's good, in, it's good until you're used to an automatic and you're driving and then you actually start having a drink. You're like, fuck, I've got to change gear. Like, you know, that's annoying. But this just drives so much better than the Merc. Like, even inside, although everything feels a bit older, it just feels so much more together. Like, everything's just... You feel way more connected to the road. The Merc was literally just like, everything just felt like plastic inside and the steering was just that light. You didn't even know whether, which way the wheels were turning. Uh, and it's like, if you ever wanted to turn traction control, it takes like 15 minutes, where they should just go boom, traction's off. Uh, I, this is actually such a, I feel like it's such a well better built car, uh, although it's not got the good enough gadgets and stuff, you can always change that. Uh, I actually love it, I didn't at first, I must admit, I, I liked it at first, but it was more like, uh, okay, well, uh, there's not really much nicer things I can get, like, really, uh, but then after like a few days of driving it, which is why I'm glad I've actually waited through this video, after a few days of driving it, I absolutely love it, like, it's, uh, it is talky man, like it is very tall, like it's got a like, 500 foot pound of torque and all wheel drive, it's cool man, it's cool, I like it, it's very cool, very nice, I like it. So for the time being I've had to buy one of these bloody uh, cigarette lighter Bluetooth to FM radio things, which is, you guessed it, gammon, uh, we've got terrible interference when the radio, it's just, it's just crap, it, we, we, need, we need something. But my plan is to like melt, make it ultimate stealth drug dealer spec. Everyone said the Merc like a drug dealer car. You wait to see this one, lads. This is going to go ultimate drug dealer spec. The one guy, one thing I'm going to say which I'm very annoying about Audis, uh, and it was very annoying about picking this one. They all are just so differently spec. Like, it's so frustrating. Like, uh, the amount of, because I wanted like a black A5, and then like trying to find like a 3 litre V6 one, like they're rare as they are. Uh, and then there was like a black one. Uh, I only wanted the black or a white one, which has made it even rarer. And then some of them have like cloth interiors, some of them have like beige interiors, some of them have like full black leather, which is what I wanted. This has got this one's got. Uh, and then they have like all of them have such different stuff. This one's like Audi Concert, but it's the one without AMI. And then they have like Audi Symphony, but some of them don't have MMI, and some of them don't have AMI, but some of them do. And it's just like it's so annoying. I just put the same things like they might have, like i've even been googling it on facebook and like people like there's just so many different ones like concepts some of them allow for some of them have got an uh, aux in there some of them don't some of them have a usb in the glove box some of them don't have either some of them have the capability to retrofit some of them don't it's just like jesus christ just put the same fucking radio it's just 
it's it's just going back to that German thing of like making money off options and although it's a good business idea it is very frustrating when you're trying to buy one second hand so yeah this is the new whip I hope you uh, hope you enjoy it I know that I uh, went through a phase of wanting something German a little bit posher and I did do that and uh, don't get it wrong it was nice having it uh, but it's also I think I went a little bit the other way where it was just uh, going away from my roots of actually owning the car and modifying it now I feel like with this one I've gone like the best of both of us. I have still got that German classy look which is why I bought the Merc in the first place in terms of business meetings and to go on long distances and have a nice cruise and stuff. Uh, but I feel like this one I still do that but I can also modify this and make it better and, uh, and you guys can enjoy it as well as I can enjoy it. So I think it's I think that's important whereas the Merc it was just something where it was just for me, it wasn't really even owned by me, it was just to uh, look good for business meetings and stuff now. This has got the best of both of us. I can still do that, but I can also have fun, modify it, and put my foot down. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like this one. I'm pretty sure this is going to be uh, a lot better received than the Mercedes. But yeah, now I need to think of a name.